Hi everyone, it's me. Yes, as told by Widow. Um, I just really wanted to drop in. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had this really um strong um uh, how should I put it pull to post and once I'm fully recovered I'll be posting more. I have so much I want to share with y'all. I have been working nonstop nonstop, although I just have been recuperating and rejuvenating. But nonetheless, the last few weeks, I would say not few, but the last couple of weeks, um, a lot of people that I know and I don't know have experienced the transitioning, the death or the passing of a loved one. And I woke up today and it's really early where I'm at. This I think it's like on a Saturday. What time is it? My cell phone. Oh, 7.34 a.m. It's not really that early. But anyway, I don't mean to tear up. But you get you see a lot of mixed emotions. And it came to me that I just did a series that to some extent you know cast this beautiful light on death and i stand by that you know and it's not to say that death is not doesn't come with the well let's say that the act of death doesn't come with strong emotions attached to it that's not what I'm saying. And I'm not encouraging anyone to deny those feelings. But I've heard so many people. I um, talk about they don't want to die. And they still have this fear of death. This very sad and kind of disoriented interpre interpretation. Of such a, a part of me want to say wonderful, but I know it comes with heartache. So I don't want to sound like some unrealistic, superficial widow. No, I'm not. When it comes to death, okay? But I, like I've always said, if I can do anything, if I can just restore the relationship that we have with death, because I know our creator would, would not create something that wreaks havoc on a person's life in so many areas for so many years. And I came to this conclusion going through so many deaths myself at such a young age. I mean, I lost my father when I was 12. <sighs> I want to say in a very violent and unnecessary event in middle school in um, the city where I live. Um, two of my classmates died suddenly, right? In middle school. And then over the years, of course, um, you know, life continues. And then I meet and marry my husband. We raise an amazing family. And then, boom, my husband dies. You're talking about somebody who, excuse me, who was athletic, who enjoyed life, who was positive, who was giving. <laughs> My husband was one, really one of those guys where he was honest. He was just good through and through. You know? When he said something, he meant it. 
And prior to that, um, his stepmom had passed away four months prior. And then right after my husband passed away, my grandfather passed away. Um, my husband passed away in January. My grandfather passed away in that October of 2011. And then just recently, and I, the reason I'm bringing all this up, I just don't want you, you don't want to think that I'm just some crazy chick <laughs> out here trying to market Dell, a very unmarketed, I guess some would say unmarketable product. No, that's not what I'm doing. You know, mm, not my goal at all. So back to my list of falling heroes, loved ones. 2020, my brother passed away suddenly. Then my stepdad in 2021. And, um... So I get it. But in experiencing all of these um, experiences, my conclusion, everyone, after going through it for so many years and the pain that losing my husband um, caused me while I was pregnant now, for the past 11 years and through healing and meditation and through counseling and through genuine prayer and listening to God's spirit speak to me. God is good. You know, I read this uh, comment on YouTube from... Um, Someone that made a, a comment to the comedian uh, Lunel's um, post, how she felt about um, two of her fellow um, comedian colleagues in the industry passed away. One of which was David Arnold, which I thought was what I not thought. I think it's amazing. Um, and the comment said that we're born to die. And that just triggered me. I was just like, wow. Very short, but yet meaningful, right? And that is true. I mean, we're born and everybody, it, and it has all of these emotions uh, attached to it as well. Right? Everybody's so happy and, you know, just elated, you know? And then on the other end, death depending, remember now, depending on what death lands in the, I guess in the guise of, in alignment with the social, the uh, natural order of life, which is dictated by social norms, to be a very difficult time. And for you to understand what I mean by that, just, you know, Go watch my YouTube series about death, social norms, uh, which creates, um, you know, this the, the theory of what is uh, the natural order of life. Okay. But back to what I'm saying, and that is death is a natural thing. It's guaranteed. It is a promise. And in that promise, you know, I, I've come to the conclusion. I know I keep saying I come to the conclusion. I'm just going to lay the conclusion out and then I'll just uh, clarify it. And that is God gives us one major promise. One thing that you are guaranteed, right, that you can't count on. And that is death. You don't have you. There's no need for you to go see a, a spiritualist. There's no need for you to go see an MD. <laughs> there, there, there's no need for you to do any tarot card readings. None of that, because you are guaranteed death. Are you guaranteed success during your life? Are you guaranteed hardship during your life? I don't know. 
and you don't either. <laughs> you know? But you are guaranteed and promised death. But God didn't give us this guarantee without a blessing. And that is, death is this, this gift that you know you're going to leave here one day. And if anything, that should be a encourager, a motivator, an inspiration for you and anyone else to stay focused on the now. Love right now. Because you don't know when that date, that day is going to come. But it's promised to you. It's guaranteed. So love right now. Be kind to yourself and love yourself right now. Be kind and love others right now. Get outside and hug a tree. And I need to get out there too. I am getting out this bed, you guys. <laughs> I am. And live life. Because like I said, if anything, death should be that cheerleader for each and every one of us to say, hey, you still living? So celebrate life. Celebrate life. Have no regrets. You know, old blue eyes. Uh, has this song. Well, that's what they call it, old blue eyes. Um, uh, oh my goodness, I know, I do know it. And when I say old blue eyes, I mean Frank Sinatra. For those of you, for those of you who who d didn't know, uh, my way. That's what it is. Because I about to say no regrets. That's just a line in the song. But um, Frank Sinatra has this some beautiful song called my way listen to it okay and in this song he says i have no regrets and if i do there's so little to mention so live your life like that let death be that for you where you'll live a life in the present where whenever death taps you on the shoulder when your portal to exit this dimension comes you have zero regrets and those that you leave here in return i'm not saying they're not gonna miss you i'm not saying that they're not gonna go through that pain or separation but what will happen as things clear up they have things to say you to laugh about they have memories to smile upon or they have truth to apply to their life and to truth to apply to your memories and their memories of you and y'all experiences together. So I just had to get out there and say that my prayers go out to David Arnold and his family. I first time I saw his special when it first came out on Netflix, I was just like, Oh my goodness. <laughs> This, it was so amazing how this man shared his life, shared his triumphs. He shared his failures, too. And he shared how hard work and just staying down with your passion, regardless of what anybody else said. He stayed down. When I mean stay down, that's just a you know a term to that means that you stuck with it, and sticking with it with him was the uh, industry of comedy. He stuck with his passion, even when nobody else understood it. He did it. He didn't let time, longevity, or any of that keep him away. I'm sure there may have been times where. It may have been like, is this worth it or not? But in those moments, he still stayed with it. And that's what he says. He had a line in this um in this in this uh Netflix special. I want to say he said he said he wanted to make sure that his daughters had that. I want to say he said it factor that mm, you know about themselves and about life. 
And when he said that, it just, oh, my soul just cringed, you know? So to his family, his wife, his mother, his sisters, you know, his fathers, and all those that loved him, you will get through it. It doesn't seem like he had very many regrets. And if he did, there's so little to mention. So once everything settles and clears, you're going to apply a lot of laughter and a lot of smiles to the memories that you have with them. So be blessed. And to all of you that are mourning or afraid of death, I get it. I really do. And I'm not telling you to disengage with those feelings. But all I am doing is I just want to be here to encourage you that you get through it. Be good and kind to yourself during this process of grieving. And just know that our creator would not create something to destroy us. Not something as natural as beautiful as birth, life, and death. So, what's the Latin term? I think it is carpe diem, seize the moment. So, wherever you are, in your mourning, in your grief, still seize the moment. Hold yourself, hold your loved ones. All right? And know that you will get through it. I have it's so many more. I'm just like that's a promise from God. Death is, I'm telling you, I can't guarantee you much, but I can guarantee you that you're going to get through it. And you know why? Because time is not going to stop for our grief. It's going to keep moving forward, you know. So be encouraged. And I got to get something done my hair. I'm stopping to hit the well, anyway. Y'all don't need to hear that. I love you guys. All right. And remember, death is a promise. All right. And it is a cheerleader to inspire you to live now, to live in your truth. I pray that Fr uh, Frank Sinatra song my way. I may link it in the description box. All right.